What are the early symptoms of HIV? HIV, human immunodeficiency virus, is a virus that can infect a person and eventually lead to AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, a condition that weakens the immune system and causes a variety of illnesses. Getting AIDS from this is not a sure thing. Infected people can normally live for years before they develop AIDS. Transmission can occur through contact with blood, sperm, or vaginal fluids from an infected person and the tears or mucous membranes of a healthy person. Mayo Clinic reports that 38.6 million persons worldwide are infected with HIV. There are a lot of young ladies, 15 to 24 year olds, making up over half of the total. The number of new cases in 2005 was over 4 million. About 25 years ago, the AIDS epidemic began, and since then, it has claimed the lives of 25 million people. What are the warning signs of HIV? Early signs may be confused with the common cold, the flu, syphilis, other sexually transmitted diseases, or even infections like mononucleosis or hepatitis. Some people have HIV-like symptoms when under stress or anxiety. Also, the severity of the symptoms may differ from person to person. Symptoms might range from completely absent to extremely severe for different people. Within a few days to a few weeks of contracting the virus, you may start to experience general symptoms, such as 1. Fever 2. Fatigue 3. Rash 4. Headache 5. Swollen lymph nodes 6. Sore throat when HIV infection has progressed to a dangerous stage, several symptoms may appear. 1. Rapid weight loss. 2. Dry cough. 3. Recurring fever or profuse night sweats. 4. Profound and unexplained fatigue. 5. Swollen lymph glands in the armpits, groin or neck, lymphadenopathy. 6. Diarrhea that lasts for more than a week. 7. White spots or unusual blemishes on the tongue, in the mouth, or the throat. 8. Pneumonia. 9. Red, brown, pink or purple blotches on or under the skin or inside the mouth, nose or eyelids. 10. Memory loss, depression, and other neurological disorders. Infection should not be assumed based on these symptoms alone. There are several potential causes for each of these symptoms. These symptoms may be mistaken for those of other diseases, making it difficult to diagnose HIV infection. Testing is the only sure way to know if someone has an infection. Some people can spread the virus even without showing any symptoms themselves. The immune system is the first target once the virus has established itself inside the host. It is the T cells, the white blood cells that coordinate the immune system as a whole that the virus begins to damage as it proliferates in the lymph nodes. No signs or symptoms may appear for as long as nine years. During this time, the virus multiplies and kills off more immune cells.